The Cowichan Valley is changing, a lot. Over the next several decades, our region will experience population growth, an evolving economy, and climate change, among many other things. To prepare for that future, the Cowichan Valley Regional District is harmonizing and modernizing its official community plans to create one updated vision for our region, the Modernized Official Community Plan. Now, this is an incredibly important document, one that will shape how our communities evolve and ultimately guide the future of the Cowichan Valley as a whole. So this is where we need your help. A plan like this is really only useful if it reflects the voices of actual community members. We need your input for this official community plan. And one of the ways we are asking for your thoughts is through community circles. A community circle is a small group of people that are having a guided discussion about the couch and Valley's future. It's a way for community members to gather on their own time and develop ideas towards the official community plan and the future of the couch and Valley. It's open to all ages and inclusive for anyone to participate. Here's how it works. Step one, gather a group. This could be an existing group or association you already meet with on the regular, or it could be a group of family members, friends, or colleagues. You can come together because you live in the same area or because you're interested in the same issues. If you don't have a group but still want to participate, please email communitycircles at cvrd.bc.ca or visit our website to find sessions being hosted by staff and how you can sign up for them. Step two, pick a topic. The modernized official community plan is organized around eight goals. Before you meet as a group, choose a goal or several goals that you'd like to discuss. Or feel free to create your own goal if you don't see it reflected here. Step three, attend the facilitation training workshop. The project team is running a series of facilitation training workshops as part of this program. If you're the host of a community circle, it's mandatory that you attend one before your event. You can sign up for upcoming workshops on our website. Step four, assemble and review materials. Head to our website and download a community circle toolkit. Inside the toolkit, you'll find a backgrounder on each goal in the modernized official community plan, instructions for the facilitator, and a workbook to record your group's discussion. You can print out your workbook and write directly in it, or you can type your notes into an electronic PDF version. Step five, get your group together and assign roles. Feel free to meet in person or virtually, whichever is more comfortable. Once you've gathered everyone, assign the following roles. The community circle facilitator. This person ensures that the discussion stays on topic and makes sure that every person is getting a chance to speak. The recorder. This person takes notes on what is said and checks in with the group to make sure that their comments are being recorded accurately. The timekeeper. This person makes sure that discussions stay on time. Step six, discuss. Your toolkit includes some techniques that can help guide your conversation. As a group, here are some things you can try. Create a common vision around the goal you've chosen to discuss and clarify the values you share. Discuss specific issues and opportunities using a map. Brainstorm freely towards ideas and solutions. Take turns talking about the issue around the table. Create smaller breakout groups that report back to the larger group for more in-depth discussions. Or try reaching a consensus on issues where there are multiple perspectives and choices. These are some ways to structure your community circle. Feel free to use any of them to help ensure a productive discussion within your group. At the end of the day, be respectful of others, open to new ideas, and enjoy your time together. When done right, a community circle can build a better connected community and a sense of caring between people. And that's what ultimately creates the best kind of discussion. Step seven, submit your group's workbook. At the end of your community circle, the recorder should summarize the notes from your discussion into the workbook we've provided. Please send us your group's work by emailing communitycircles at cvrd.bc.ca or by dropping it off or mailing it to our offices at 175 Ingram Street. And what happens from there? Well, our project team will review all the notes from each community circle and organize them into the eight policy goals, the result of which will be a collective document called the Ideas Book. That document will be made available to the public and will be used to inform our modernized official community plan, making sure that our plan for the future reflects the voices of everyday people who call the Couch and Valley home. For more information about community circles, please visit our website or email communitycircles at cvrd.bc.ca.